Hi everyone. I hope that you and yours are having a safe and joyous holiday season. All of us here at the Chattahoochee Valley Libraries are ready to help you for the remainder of 2020 and more importantly, to make 2021 a happy and prosperous new year for you, your friends, and your loved ones. If you're picking up some holiday reading with our curbside book service, or you'd like an audiobook or free streaming movie, or need assistance searching for a new job, we can help. We're your place, we're your partner, we're your library. Happy holidays from the Chattahoochee Valley Libraries. We hope to see you soon. Hello and welcome to Try Something New. I'm Miss Lane and I work at the Columbus Public Library and a children's librarian and I wanted to share something that I find really fun that I hope you will find really fun and that's board games. So uh, I never played board games when I was a child. I think the most I played was like Connect Four and Monopoly. But as an adult, I have discovered that I'm really, really into it and I didn't know that about myself until fairly recently, like the past couple of years. So I'm gonna share a few favorites of mine that I hope that you and your families can enjoy because I find them super spectacular and really fun. The first one is Disney Codenames. And there's a bunch of different versions or editions of this. Uh, I like the Disney one, but they're basically little tile cards and you flip them over and each team tries to tell their teammate which tiles are their tiles based only on one word. So say you have six tiles and one of them is Moana and one of them is a Little Mermaid tile and one of them is like the Lion King. You want your other teammates to pick which tiles you're talking about. You're trying to literally give them code names so that they pick the right ones. And you say ocean. And so then they go, oh, I think it's this tile and this tile because those both have oceans on it. And if they're right, then you're like, yay, we got two out of our six. And if they pick the third one, this is like a Lion King win, and you're like, oh, that's great too. But if they pick wrong, the other team gets theirs revealed. Or there's a secret not good tile that will end the game automatically and, and you lose. So this is a really cool version of like a memory game but it's uh, code names and it's super secret and this is a really fun one because it's all about using your imagination and getting super creative with how you describe things and making really weird connections and if you're not the one giving the instructions then you're the one trying to guess and so it's just a really fun way to kill like 30 minutes of your time. The next one is Sushi Go! Oh, and this one is a really fun, you can think of it as like a deck building game. You pass around hands of cards. Each player will take a hand or a card from their hand to build into their own little mini deck. And those mini decks represent like a sushi menu. And at the end of the game, each card or an allotment of cards is tallied into a final point system. The one with the most points wins. This one's really fun because you're also trying to guess what other players are trying to build. You're trying to collect different cards, like say a sashimi card is worth 10 points, but you have to have three of those cards. So each time the hand comes around, you're trying to take as many as you can to build up your points. So this one's really fun because the resources are limited and there's infinite ways that you can build your deck and there's different strategies involved and it's really fast. So you try to play quickly. So it's a fast paced game and you're not deliberating over moves like for hours at a time. So this one's really fun. Also the animations on the cards are like adorable and it comes in like a little sushi box. It's really fun. It's called Sushi Go. I love it. The next one is a spooky one. It is called The Betrayal of the House on the Hill. and that's a lot of words, but this is a horror game. It's also a game that takes a little bit more time and is a little bit harder to catch on to. I know a lot of these games sound intimidating, but once you read through the instructions and you get playing, they are super easy to catch on to. The 
Betrayal on the Hill House is also kind of a little complicated. It's not intimidating, but it is like a little bit more intense and it's a horror game. So there's all sorts of, um, it's like clue, but make it haunted and a little bit more high stakes. Um, so that was a really fun game, especially if you're into the horror genre or if you want to kind of expand into something a little bit more intense of a play. Um, I really enjoyed it and it's a game that kind of builds on each other and it's different every time you play it. So uh, that one's a really exciting game to play and I really like the, the horror aspect because I'm a little dark. The next one is a betting game. And this one, I want to say is pure chance, but it's not really your camel racing. And there's like a whole set of your board and you're betting on different camels and they'll can go this way and this way and you build up camels and you're basically placing bets. And it's kind of a little strategy involved. So it's not just for the luck of the draw, there is a strategy and the one with the most money at the end of the game wins. So this one's also a really fast paced game. It's really easy to set up. Once you play a few times, it's really to catch on. And those have been my favorite games lately. And I hope you enjoyed. If you play any, let me know. We also have a Discord server. It's for our adult service staff members, but Board Games is a channel on that Discord server. So I will link it and come chat with us. All right, thanks, bye.